part number 2 movable jaw see there are three views given front right side and bottom view i'll start the construct by right side view go to extrude click right button since i have started from the side view click right side view plane and start from center to this side it is 50 given half of the 25 then move height is 48 45 plus 3 48 and inside it is 5 mm and move upwards is 25 then this length is 35 then downwards it is 18 and this side it is 10 then close 55 and close now choose the show the dimensions go to distance between overall dimension from here to here it is 50 and this is 45 plus 3 here to here is given it is 48 want to go to show a small dimension show this is 55 and this is 18 this is 25 this is 5 given this is 5 and this is 10 now here there is a radius go to radius radius of dia 10 is given choose this two for a 10 radius and one more radius here is 3 mm there is a radius for 3 mm here to here it is 3 mm now show the radius by small dimensions this is 10 radius and this is radius 3 okay this is radius 3 now from here to here is given 35 i show all the dimensions here to here it is 35 okay these are all the dimensions given in the sketch then close sketch uh, extrude for 100 mm see front view symmetric extent 100 press enter finish now there is a cutout here two cutouts we have to make go to cut select this plane then draw one or you can directly go to construct from here to here it is 20 mm Twenty mm, and this is forty-five height. And close the sketch to make cut out and trim of this. Show this this distance between here to this twenty overall forty is remaining. here to the center line is 20 and this height is given it's 45 this is the cutout i'll make mirror for this mirror that both side i want to cut to through cutout back side like this finish okay like this this is my side view this is front view and this is bottom view now i want to make a hole of uh, square thread 20 by 2 go to whole options click this plane here go to whole options here choose threaded here you choose tr 20 by 2 and make through through fine next extent that means throughout the body i want to make a thread click ok click ok place it somewhere on the center then go to distance between
from this cutout to the center of the hole is given distance is 20 7 make it 27 then close sketch then click return then finish okay then two more walls we have to make here you have to make a two two holes and here you have to make it two holes first i'll go for this hole this plane on this plane on this cutout plane i'll make a holes of threaded hole make m6 6 mm m6 choose m6 and the hole depth here is the hole depth hole depth is 13 and choose v bottom and here you go for thread portion here the whole thread depth is 10 mm see hole depth is 13 and thread thread depth is only for 10 mm then click ok click ok place somewhere don't select any on the line don't touch the any anywhere you can just choose both lines should be in symmetric line then give distance distance between this center to this cutout it is 12.5 12.5 now the distance between this center to this midpoint line is 30 60 by 2 same thing same thing for this side here to here it is 30 then close sketch make a thread click and finish same threads you want to create on the bottom sides bottom side huh? choose this plane choose this plane to create two holes go to hole options threaded here you choose m6 here you choose same 13 mm hole with a v bottom here you choose finite extent it is 10 mm thread portion then close this then click ok place over the middle here midline here midline and go distance between distance between the center of this hole to this line it is 24 that is 12 mm same thing from here to here it is 12 then click close sketch move upwards to cut a hole then finish you want you can uncheck this base and this construction line see the front view there are two holes and and a one square hole in the bottom there is a two holes total five holes and two cutouts and this portion since it is a cast iron add the material as a cast iron go to material table choose cast iron choose anyone click apply to model and save it as a movable job you wish to color give color color management choose any material copper gold brass copper Then save. 